Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. Listen to this. So therefore when you're calculating volume, it's not like, oh well we'll calculate this pipe and ignore it's got a hole in it. No, the accessible volume is everything outside of the pipe because it's not contained. So now this open pipe isn't a container for gas after all. Wow, Nathan, that's exactly what we've been trying to tell you. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light a dumpster fire and have some fun. So, a uh, comment by the Akumu virus. Uh, most gas law presupposes a container. Pressure is caused by the constraints of the container. The atmosphere uses weight to cause pressure, not a container sleeping. Uses weight? Well, what uses down vectors at 9.8 meters per second per second as per your gravity, a virus? No, gas does not go down, go boom, boom. Boom! Weight is down. No, it does if you put it in a container. Okay, wait, I'm trying to follow along. Now you're saying that gas has no weight unless it's in a container. And for two years now, you've been telling everybody that this is a container. Well, if this is a container, so is this. Are you telling us now that the gas inside the empty swimming pool has weight but the gas above the swimming pool has no weight. How does that work, Nathan? But ultimately speaking, gas expands in all directions. It does not go down, go boom, boom. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. Yeah, but... Well, right before that, he says pressure is caused by the constraints of the container. Yeah. What well, no, he's claiming he's claiming it's a presupposition. He's saying all the citations just presuppose you're going to have a containment. I mean, obviously the V in PV equals NRT is just a presupposition. No, it's not. It's an antecedent. That's right, Nathan. It is a necessary antecedent. If you want pressurized gas at a pressure much higher than atmospheric pressure, you need some sealed cylinders like this and pumps and things. If you want to pressurize an atmosphere, all you need is one of those, and gravity will take care of the rest for you. To have the pressure. Without the container, there can be no pressure. End quote, conspiracy cats. You've got to have something to contain the gas, otherwise it's not contained. It'll just escape. Now, that well, escape, hold on, yep. hold on, that escape is the description in entropy. Yeah, it's filling the availability of volume. In other words, if you've got a container with a hole in it, then the availability of volume is the container that it's within and also whatever's outside of it because there's a hole. So the gas can follow its way through the hole into the rest of the volume it has available to it. So therefore, when you're calculating volume, it's not like, oh, well, we'll calculate this pipe and ignore it's got a hole in it. No, the accessible volume is everything outside of the pipe because it's not contained. And that's right, Nathan. The gas in the open pipe is not contained. It's free to escape. The pressure inside the pipe is free to become exactly the same as the pressure outside the pipe because all of the volume is connected. But the butane gas in this open pipe is indicating a gas pressure significantly higher than the atmospheric pressure around it. Even though the gas is not being contained as you just explained, gravity is holding the gas in this open pipe. Gravity is causing the gas to fall down and go boom! Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. Now that Nathan understands that an open pipe is not a container for gas, certainly not a container for pressurized gas, Maybe we can take the next step and work on the boom boom part. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And Nathan, when I say how stupid can you be, that isn't a challenge. That's a question. Hey, hit the like and subscribe button for me. Shout out to the patrons and PayPal's. Really appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.